Yeah. First of all, congratulations on the start. Um, I just wonder how does it feel to be coming into your last test debut and that's sort of the cut seal of first series win over South Africa since 1997? Um, yeah, look, obviously I'm over the moon. I was uh, I was a little bit taken back when my, when my name was read out um, by Warren. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm absolutely delighted, and uh, it's a big it's a big challenge for me personally, um, but a big challenge for us as a team to go and to go ahead and get 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 it, get two victories and and get it get the win in the bag. So before that announcement, did you have no inkling whatsoever? I mean, how did you rate your chances of getting the nod in the starting lineup? I didn't didn't really have an inkling. Um, obviously, when 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 a team wins, you like you sort of think, oh well, probably go with the with a similar sort of team. There might be a couple of changes. Um, we had we had training uh, in the day. Um, it was hard to sort of really tell um, if the, if there was what what what, what the team. Would potentially be, um, so yeah. I didn't. It, it was. It was. It was a surprise. Um, a, a nice surprise, and obviously, I was just just really delighted. So, what pressure then do you feel coming into a winning team with so much on the line? Ah, uh, pre pressure is a privilege, isn't it? Um, it's it's a it's an opportunity for me to um, to go out there and and really really show what I'm about and just just sort of contribute my game to the team and. And and uh, and hopefully do that in a good way, and, and we can come away with a, with another win. And what conversations have you had with Warren in terms of what he's expecting for, from you? Uh, to be honest, not had not too much of a conversation on a personal level, but um, but look, look, he's it, it's clear what what he wants out of out of us as a team, and what we have to expect from from South Africa, and what what we expect from ourselves. So it's it's just got we just got to go out there and, and deliver our game plan. We've seen so much of the togetherness of the Lions squad. I just wonder for those that are missing out, and notably, obviously, you're coming in for, for Elliot Daly. So, how how do those kind of players react in, in this situation? And, and what does even Elliot say to you once once the team's been known? Oh, look, he's, he, I was actually sat next to him when when the team was announced, and he stood up and he was the first to congratulate me. Um, it was a similar similar thing for me last week when the name was the, the, the team was named. Um, I wasn't named in the in the squad at all, and I was I felt really deflated. So like I, like every, it's, it's just part of it's part of professional sport. It's a part of this environment. Like some boys are going to miss out, and it's all about how how you react to it. Um, but yeah, I congratulated Elliot last week, and, and he congratulated me me this week, and that's just that's just the way the way it is. And you've got to it's all about how you how you react, as I say, and you just got to go out and go out and train and train as hard as you can. How important is that kind of reaction? I think I think that's the best way to go about it. I think if you react, you react the other way and you and you're a bit bitter and you sort of switch off, I, I, it's probably it's not it's not best. It doesn't look good on you. Um, and you're not sort of testing the team that that that, that have got to go out and, and play against South Africa. So you've just got to, yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough to take. I, I, I took it. I took that one last week, and and you've just got to get over that and 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 put and, and train to the, to the best of your ability and, uh, and and test the opposition and show that show that you that you want to to be in that starting jersey or in that in that 23. I suppose as well, there's a massive emphasis on, on maintaining focus because whatever happens this weekend, there's a big opportunity in the third test as well, whether it's to seal a series win then or whether even to to, to finish it with a 3-0 series win. Yeah, exactly that. Like it, Although like last week it was one game, so my focus was was just to, to train as hard as I can and get into the se into that second test and it, it's similar there's no, there's another test after this one um so there's like for me starting there's there's not there's no there's, I'm not necessarily going to start next week so I need to to perform well on the weekend but those boys that aren't involved they they've just got to perform the best they can in training and if you're on the bench got to do a job off the bench to put yourself in a good position for selection the week after and Chris as a group how does the mindset differ now from the build-up to that first test. You've got that first win under your belt and you know the magnitude of what can happen on Saturday of getting that series win. So how does the mindset differ now? Well, the, the mindset doesn't really change in some regards. It's We're going out there to win. Um, we know that they're going to be they're going to be a lot more hungry. That's what they'll be saying. They'll be, they'll, they, they, they have to win. 
um, that they, they'll be they'll be wanting to be that extra bit physical and all this. So look, we've got to we've got to match that and, and give a bit more. Um, and we, we we've got to we've got to turn up. We can't just rely on the fact that we've had one win um, and then think, oh, if we lose next week, there's still there's still another chance the week after. I just don't, I don't think that that comes across across well from a mindset uh, perspective. And an emphasis on a positive start and a disciplined start, which wasn't necessarily the case in the first test. No, definitely that that sort of first 20, 30 minutes or whatever it was where we kind of gifted them what was it twelve points or something or whatever it was. Yeah, that, that discipline across the whole game was actually really good. But if you can, if we can sort of take that away and 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 reduce that to to half of what, what what we did then we stand at even an even better chance of coming away with a victory Top man. good luck Chris cheers thank you mate cheers Chris Nick Heath, Nick Heath here from Talk Sport how are Hi, you Nick I'm very well how are you yeah good thank you um, congratulations on selection what did you make of uh, of that midfield area on Saturday as as far as what was coming at the Lions Say that again, sorry, um, from the, sorry, the Lions of the South African midfield. Yeah, what did you make of the Springbok midfield? Yeah, look, we uh, we I've, we played against that midfield in that in that A team game, so we had a we had a good idea of what they were going to bring. Um, they were they were sort of aggressive in their carries and an aggr- aggressive in their defence, um, and they and they are good at good at what they do. So um, I, I expect it'll be it'll be much the same this week. And what about yourself? How do you think you'll slot in with Robbie Henshaw in, in the uh, in the Lions midfield? Have you uh, have you been running much together in training? Yeah, we've uh, we, we've done we've done a fair bit bit in training, sort of early on in the uh, um, <clears throat> in the tour out in Jersey. Did a bit, and we've obviously been training together this week. So I think I think we'll we're we're, we're a decent partnership, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing with Robbie. Um, he's obviously a, a quality a quality player himself, and. I think we'll uh, we'll really complement each other. And it's a step up from club to country. We hear is country to lions another level. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's the the big thing. The big thing that that I've sort of noticed was the sort of the the f- physicality, even in training, the the sort of the standards that are set, uh, the accuracy, all that. It's just sort of every every so all the, all those little bits. It's just sort of bumped up that that little bit more, um, and then that sort of reflects in the game as well. And that intensity for training obviously comes through a competition for places. But this Saturday is an opportunity to win the series, which which could allow many other members of the touring party to earn a test cap in the third match. Warren Gatland said, if 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 it was a series win, he would make a lot of changes. How about that responsibility and, and the opportunity you guys could have to give other players in the squad a test cap? Well, yeah, it's, it is just a, as you say, it's just a huge opportunity. Um, for me personally, it's my first test. I, I wanna. I want to go out there and, and give give the best uh, the best version of myself, um, and hopefully I'll I'll perform and and uh, hopefully I'll get to play a second test. But look, the the focus is purely purely this first game, and what what will be will be with selection thereafter. Um, that's not that's not my job. Uh, my, my job to uh, pick pick team next week. I've just got to got to play well myself, and and we've got to play well as a team and, and get that series win. And it's obviously a hugely proud moment. Do you uh, do you know if your family and friends are going to be tuning in together? Where might they be? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think uh, everyone will be all my, all my mates back home will be tuning tuning in. My my girlfriend and her family will be tuning in at home, and same same with my my mum uh, and my dad as well. They'll they'll, they'll both be be watching and, and cheering cheering me on. That's the luck. Thank you very much. Hey Chris, I'm just looking kind of over your career and the the journey that's brought you to this this point it's been you know a pretty remarkable story i know there'll be lots of people that you know you would thank along the way but i'd just like to ask specifically about gregor townsend and the role that he's played since he, he called you up in, in 2017. yeah look i've got i've got a, got a lot of thanks for for gregor for for giving me that that first opportunity uh back in 2017 and yeah, it was a uh, it, it was a bit of a slower start. I didn't I didn't pick up too many caps in that first year, and and uh, he still sort of gave me the opportunity. So yeah, look, I'm obviously grateful grateful that he has done that, and it's uh, it's it's worked out pretty well for me. 
do you feel as a player, as a style of player, that this this is this is a game that will suit you? This is a game that you will you will relish being a part of the physicality, the the, the pressure that's going to be on you guys on on Saturday. No, definitely. Look, I, I welcome I welcome the physical side of, side of the game. Um, the, the way that so, that, that South Africa want to play is. It, it suits suits me as well, sir. So, look, it's uh, as you say, it's a it's a it's a opportunity for me to really really show what I'm about and and get get stuck into them. Cheers, Chris. Good luck. Thanks, mate. Oh. Chris, uh, hello, pal. Biggest game of your career. Say that again, sorry. By far, biggest game of your career by far. Uh yeah, I think I think that would uh, that would be a yes. And uh, how big an influence has it been having Steve and Gregor there? Has that helped at all? Oh, do, you I think, think that, do you think it helps your chances of getting in this team this weekend? Um, look, I'm, uh, well, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not in that. I'm not in the selection room. Um, I'd like to think that my playing did the talking. Obviously, Gregor and Steve. Um, they both know me probably better than. Uh, than, than the other coaches do, so yeah, maybe maybe it has helped my chances. But as I say, I'm, I'd like to, I'd like to think it's it's me as a player um, that, has, that has shown shown guts and, and the other coaches that that I do deserve the the opportunity. Final one from me, and I know it's not your concern, but um, Finn Russell would be good to get him back for the third test if it all goes to plan. Oh look, I'm, yeah, he's yeah, it'd be brilliant for brilliant for Finn. Um, I know he's uh, he's 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 back training and stuff, so he's he's looking pretty sharp. So, yeah, as you say, I'm I'm not I'm not picking picking the team and and knowing if Finn's going to be involved, but um, it would be be great for him if he was. Cheers, back. cheers, thanks, Chris. Thanks very much, everyone. Thanks, Chris. Tell us. Cheers, fellas. Oh.